Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the government and people of Kiribati, I am very delighted and honored to address you all in this video statement. Let me greet you warmly and in his holy name, Kamnapaninibaud. The fact that we have delegations joining the 77th session of SCAP in person and virtually clearly demonstrates the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic and now resolve to persevere and build back better from crisis through regional cooperation. The theme for this session cannot be more pertinent, asking the question of how governments, communities, families and individuals can work alongside one another to address and overcome terrible afflictions plaguing our communities. These are difficult and uncertain times, which calls for stronger cooperation and reminds us of the strength we have in unity to build back from crisis through regional cooperation. In order for us to help our neighbors and contribute during times of crisis, we need first to address our own issues at home. One of the most prominent issues is the adverse effects of climate change on our daily lives. I am thankful for the support we continue to receive from our partners, which have assisted us in our tireless work to build resilience against climate change impacts and relieve pressure on our scarce and limited financial resources. Our national budget for 2021 was delivered to Parliament in December 2020 with a key focus on embracing the new normal. Accordingly, and in line with our theme for the 77th session, my government acknowledges the importance of regional cooperation with our SCAF family and many budget priorities have been allocated to focus on building back and recovering by investing and leveraging strategic partnerships to ensure protection of the most vulnerable, including safeguarding our development progress during these challenging times. Although Kiribati remains COVID-free, it is not without its challenges. Since the closure of our borders in March 2020, countless of Kiribati nationals have been effectively stranded in foreign countries. Until October 2020, we have been unable to repatriate our stranded nationals due to limited resources to establish proper quarantine centers. But since then, and with the support of our partners, we have successfully managed to upgrade and utilize some of our pre-existing buildings deemed appropriate for quarantine measures and begun the repatriation process. And I'm pleased to share that more than 70% have been safely reunited with their families. I wish to reiterate our continued trust in our ISCAF family to lead our region to a more prosperous and sustainable future. Kiribati believes in the spirit of unity, fellowship, and helping one another in times of great need. We are always ready to offer and contribute however little or insignificant it may be. I wish to conclude my remarks by bestowing upon us all the Kiribati traditional blessings of the Maori, the Roy, or the Tadumo, which means health, peace, and prosperity.